Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is a get ready for date night with me. It is Leo's birthday and we are just going out to dinner. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and show you how I get ready for date night. So the time is currently 4.30. I just finished up at the gym. I need to take a shower, wash my hair, um, exfoliate my body. I definitely don't need to get ready this early, but I've done a lot of work today and I just don't feel like doing any more and I just wanna take my time. I think I'm just gonna wear some black jeans and like a blouse and some heels um, and just like fairly basic makeup, um, but with a red lip as always. I am all showered, hair is washed. I absolutely detest washing my hair. I'm just going to moisturize my face, not do any serums or anything, just because I'm putting makeup over the top and I'm just using this Cetaphil one. And I'm moisturizing my body with just this Sukin one so I can be all smooth. And then I'm going to dry my hair, the worst part. The worst part, maybe I should get a glass of wine. So my hair is pretty much all dry. Um, I haven't styled it or done anything. I, I prefer curling my hair. I think it looks better on me, but it is of course more effort than straightening it. I'm going to start off with my makeup. I just got this little headband. I think they look so cute and funny, but they do help. So I just prime my face with Quick Fix by Urban Decay. And let that dry. Also, my ring light is coming. I know this lighting is just horrific. I have my damp beauty blender and I don't have any fake tan on, so I am my palest. And my pale foundation is L'Oreal True Match. I do really like the Tarte, this one, but it's a little bit too dark for me right now. So I just go in and literally put it on my face. This is not what you should do, but it's what I do. And then I have my Cover FX. They're just like um, highlighting drops and I mix them in with my foundation to make like dewy goodness. That's probably way too much. How do I mix that in? Ooh. I will do anything to not put foundation on my hands. It just, it gives me the ick. I don't like it. So yeah, I'm just using my face as like a palette. So today is Monday and I didn't, I've never really come across this, I guess because I don't usually go out for dinner on Mondays, but nowhere in Brisbane is open for dinner on Mondays. There were like probably 15 places that I looked into and looked at the menu and I was like, yeah, yum, that looks awesome and went to book and they were like, no, we're, we're open every single day except Monday and I was like, we're lucky enough to get into this place that I have never heard of, but it does look pretty good. Um, I'm just going in with some concealer. This is just the NARS Creamy in Custard. I've had this since I was like 14 and Lauren Curtis told me to buy it. Um, and I have not had the need to buy any other concealer since then. I really like it. And I just put it like in the middle because I get like really bad discoloration. Just on the outside. going with like a random loose powder. Focus that around where I put the concealer. And then a little bit on the forehead and just around the face so I'm not sticky. I've also heard that it's pretty off trend to like not set your face. And I'm like, oh. I mean, I would do that, but like, you know how you get those like um, concealer lines? Ooh, no thank you. If anyone has any good dewy, 
medium to full coverage foundations. Let me know, please. Going in with bronzer, um, I'm using this like Mecca home brand palette of three that I've had for like more than two years. Just does the job. I'm trying desperately to find the Alac Linda C Body Suit in medium. Um, I'm like looking on the Honey With It Buy Swap sell pages um, with very little success. I used to only wear like black and red and that's it. Yeah. Are you excited for your birthday dinner? Yeah. Are you excited? Are you hungry? I'm excited. Blush. I look like the girl with the pearl earring. Highlighter. This is the Too Faced natural one. It's pretty old. I think I got it in like 2016 or 2017. Just going in with Heaven. Coffee Date, this one here. So it's just a Real Techniques fairly fluffy small brush. Just in the outer crease. This is so funny, it looks like it's so it's not even old, it's probably like like less than a year old. It's Rimmel. I just got it from Priceline and I adore it. It is like pomade and then this is like powder. And I used both. I'm just using the powder, it's just a little bit lighter. The um ombre brows, like the feather and then like full fill-in. Um, was really trending when I got my feathered brows and the um, tattooist was like, oh, are you sure you don't want like combination brows? Are you sure you don't want like full colored in ones? And I was like, no, I love the look of feathered brows. I think they look so natural, especially if you're like fair, like me. Um, so yeah, do not regret getting feathered brows, especially because like I don't do full glam. I don't wear makeup on a daily basis. I'm just going in with my Astralis Metallics in guns and rose petals. Uh, I think this was about $3 and I love it. Um, it's like kind of like pomade consistency. God, take a shot every time I say pomade. I'm just turning that like the inner corner. How good is glitter? Um, every time I go out to a restaurant, I can't go without looking at the menu first. I have to look at the whole menu, see what I'm getting for entree, see what I'm getting for main, see what I'm getting for dessert. I looked at the menu for tonight and I'm super keen on getting some seafood and they also do a cheese board, which you best believe I will be devouring. Cute. Just going in with this little travel mini from Tarte called Big Ego and it's probably one of the better mascaras I've used. I've really been considering getting eyelash extensions again, but then as soon as I get them, I always regret them. They like just irritate me and I can't wash my face properly. I can't like scrub my eye makeup off. And they're so expensive as well. I was paying like $140 every three weeks to get my eyelashes filled in. Don't get me wrong, they look amazing. But I actually also really don't mind like the natural look of like not having, you know, lashes all the time. So I always do my eyeliner after I do my mascara. I don't know why, I just like how it works that way. I only ever use brown eyeliner because I think it looks so good on people, especially who are blonde, it's just way less harsh. I have used the Stiller one for the longest, but recently I've used the Kat Von D one. It's scandalous, but the Kat Von D one is significantly better. It wears better, it's so much better to apply, and I'm pretty much out of it, but would buy the Kat Von D one again. Can I do it again though? No, that's the question.
The liner is done. I'm going in with my lashes. These are Lily Lashes, most expensive lashes. Are they worth it? I mean, yeah, if you have the money, but if not, just go ahead with Holy Grail lashes. They are fantastic and they are cheap and they're Australian based. But I have these because I ordered them for my birthday. Oh my God, please, please, no bubbles. Ooh. There's something about like gluing a strip lash that's just like really nice. I don't know if we should drive or get a new bar. I'm like consciously trying to drink a little bit less than I usually do. Um, I'll occasionally have like a glass of wine because I absolutely love wine, but I'm trying like not to overdo it. I probably leave these for like a minute or two minutes just until they get tacky. That of course is how they stick. I remember being like 12 going to a school dance and I was in the bathroom with like my best friend at the time and my mum and we were trying to figure out how the flip when you put the glue on how it sticks to your eye because it's wet and it doesn't stick. Um, and that's pretty much the finishing touch. I'm not going to put my lip on yet but it will be the Stila liquid lip in fiery as always. I've been through about one trillion of these. It's just like Staple. There is no red that is better than this red. It's quite a blue red, not an orange red, and I love it. I'm going to try and curl my hair. This is the after of the hair curl. Obviously, I don't leave it like this. I'm just going to wait until the last minute before we leave until I brush them all out. Um, and I'm going to become an outfit. So I'm going with just some black pants. They're kind of jeans, but they're not like fully denim. They're just like got some elastic in them. They're high waisted. And then I'm also going with just this white blouse, which is from Kmart, and it was like fifteen dollars, and I love it. And then I'm going with these Louboutins. They're limited edition. I love how like they've got these cherries on them. They're so cute. Um, and I'm thinking I really wanted to wear my Louis Vuitton Anna bag, but I'm probably in the name of matching going to wear my Valentino rock stud in red just for coordination purposes. Welcome to the Leo channel. Tell me how I started getting ready at 4.30 and I'm running late. We just arrived and it's so pretty and it's so quiet. We're like the only people here. Show us your outfit. Ooh, you look good. enjoyed this little get ready with me for date night vlog we had an amazing time i am so so full and i'm just going to take off my makeup watch a marvel movie or maybe play a game or something and then you yeah, can just go to bed thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video